So let me tell you, it is not all sunshine and roses living here in San Diego. In fact, I have a list of reasons why you would and wouldn't want to live here, all the pros and cons. And really, without any further ado or without any reason or rhyme, we're going to get right into this list. All right, so let's get this first one out of the way. Of course, San Diego is a place that is known for having great weather and fantastic beaches. We have miles and miles of white sandy beaches, tons of public access, lots of things to do on those beaches, and a lot of warm days to enjoy going to those beaches. Now, the reality is when you live here in San Diego, most people are not going to the beach five times a week, once a week, maybe not even once a month. Uh, and the reality is in the winter time, it can get a little bit chilly, but we don't have to really worry about snow or anything like that. Rain is very limited. The median temperature here in San Diego is between 70 to 80 degrees. So it's not getting into the high 100s. It's it's not getting uh, below 40. We're not getting those really cold days. All in all, in San Diego, you're gonna have a pretty mild and, and temperate climate year round. Which brings me into the biggest negative of living here in San Diego. Some people refer to it as the sunshine tax. You have all these benefits of the, the weather and the beaches. The downside is there's a lot of demand and it gets very expensive living here. Now we're talking about obviously home prices. The median home in San Diego is around $900,000, but also just the, the cost of living. Going out to eat, you know, you can expect to pay $20 a plate at a fast casual restaurant. That's way too much. That price has gone up significantly over the last couple of years. Right now, gas is at $6 a gallon, just over $6 a gallon. Uh, and a lot of the different costs and various costs here in California and in San Diego are higher than the rest of the country. I also can tell you that home prices specifically are gonna vary a lot depending on where in San Diego County you wanna live, in the county or in the city. There are a lot of options, a lot of more affordable neighborhoods and a lot of very, very expensive neighborhoods like Rancho Santa Fe, which is over $3 million for the median home. But that's not average. You can find townhomes, condos, attached properties in places like Mission Valley for around $600,000, maybe even less. But if you're looking for something that is, that is fairly move in ready, you can find it in those places. Now, another con of living here in San Diego is a lot of the homes here are a little bit older. I mean, if you go around Balboa Park and in North Park, South Park, uh, Mission Hills, a lot of these homes are 100 plus years old. I mean, they've been around for a long time. And I would say on average, the home that you're going to find here in San Diego was built in the 50s, 60s and 70s. There absolutely are exceptions. If you go up to somewhere like Carlsbad, it's a newer community. You're going to find homes that were built in the last 20 years or so. But in general, San Diego is going to have older homes. Now, this is kind of a, a plus and a minus because the positive of this, the flip side of this, is that you're gonna get homes that have generally, you know, bigger spaces, they're gonna have bigger backyards, and you're gonna find homes that have a lot of culture. You're gonna find these really cool old Spanish homes and old craftsman style homes that are extremely desirable. So negative, older homes, uh, they're gonna be more costly, they're gonna have more maintenance costs, they're generally gonna be a little bit smaller of the physical home itself, but the positive is you're gonna have more space, more uh, yard space, and you're gonna potentially get more charm and, and more character and more fun with that home. All right, so coming back to the pros, the, the positives of living here in San Diego, there's gonna be two other things that come to mind. One is that we generally have a very laid back culture. Now I've lived a couple different places in California. I've lived in San Francisco, I've lived in Orange County, I've been to Los Angeles a lot of times, and I can tell you they all have their own individual feel and their own individual culture. And the culture that you get that is vastly different, in my opinion, from those other places here in San Diego is gonna be this laid back culture. People are generally very easygoing, they're easy to get along with, very friendly, and I tend to find that more here in San Diego than those other places. And of course, you can't mention the positives of living here in San Diego without talking about the incredible food scene that we have, food and drink scene. I mean, there's, I think we're at 150 breweries here in San Diego. There's quite a number of wineries, we have distilleries, and then you have these great and fantastic restaurants all throughout the county. Now you're definitely gonna find them in places down by like Little Italy, but you know, all spread throughout San Diego, you're gonna find fantastic and incredible restaurants that are worth checking out. And specifically when we're talking about food here in San Diego, I would go ahead and argue, I'm gonna argue this, and I believe I'm right, that San Diego has the best Mexican food in the country. A bold claim. Specifically, when we're talking about tacos, burritos, uh, those are the classic foods that you could get here in San Diego. Fish tacos, 
all sorts of tacos. I mean, Mexico City style tacos, they make the tortillas fresh to order. We have, you know, fishery type of restaurants that have fresh seafood directly from the fishermen that they're putting right on top of these tortillas. There's all sorts of just fantastic, fantastic Mexican food and specifically tacos here in San Diego. And it's funny, I, I actually have had clients in the past that have decided to move to San Diego and work with me just because of the love for Mexican food. And that, that actually is a true story, believe it or not. Now, another con of living here in San Diego, one of the negatives is that you really need to have a car to get around. We do have trolleys, we, we do have buses, we do have the, the surf rider, the train that goes up and down the coast. But in general, those are so limited here in San Diego that more often than not, I would say at least nine times out of 10, you're gonna need a car unless you work remote and live in a walkable community, which we have available. I did a video very recently about the walkable communities here in San Diego. But if we're talking about general rule of thumb, you're gonna need a car. And another negative that people talk about here in San Diego is our lack of professional sports teams. Now we used to have the Chargers and they went up to LA. So now LA has like five or 10 football teams. I don't know. I, I don't watch football, but I can tell you we do have the Padres and that's about the only you know professional sport that we have here in San Diego. It is a fantastic stadium. I highly, highly recommend going to a game, going and checking out a Padres game. And then starting this year, San Diego State University just opened up their new stadium, Snapdragon Stadium, which is actually located off of the trolley line. So it is very easy access, is a very beautiful stadium. And I'm actually going later this week, so I'll let you guys know how it turns out. So now because you came to San Diego with that car, you have access to year round activities. This is one of the other positives of living here in San Diego. You have year round outdoor activities. We're talking hiking, we're talking biking, mountain biking. Um, we're talking surfing, going to the beach, trails that you can visit. You have Big Bear that's only a couple hour drive away where you can go snowboarding and skiing in the winter. There's so many outdoor activities that you can do here in San Diego. And it really is year round because we don't get the snow. We don't get a lot of rain. So if you want to have that healthy, active outdoor lifestyle, San Diego is the place for that. No question. And specifically, one of the outdoor activities I would recommend here in San Diego is actually golf. Now, this is something that I've never really been into much in my life that I just started getting exposed to in the last couple of years. But we have uh, Callaway headquarters is here. They're, they're talking about opening up a top golf here in San Diego down by Point Loma. We have the perfect weather for it. So whether you are a lifetime expert golf player or you're just considering getting into a new activity, uh, golf here in San Diego is fantastic. You can find courses that are shorter, that are uh, a little bit more budget friendly. Um, there's tons of coaching and training and different things that you can do, but it is definitely something that I recommend picking up and trying out here in San Diego County. All right, so next up is a negative that I've pretty much avoided talking about on most of my videos so far. And not for any specific reason, it's it just, it's a hard thing to talk about because there aren't really any solutions out there. And, you know, it's tough to talk about, but the reality is homelessness is an issue in San Diego County. It's kind of, you know, specific to certain areas. If you're going to downtown San Diego, especially in East Village, there's a massive issue. I mean, blocks and blocks and blocks of, of homeless people with tents. Man, I, I just wish that there was more being done about it. I know that the, the state and the county, they're getting a million dollars here, a million dollars there for new construction to, and new services to, to help the homeless communities in San Diego, but it's nowhere near enough. So this is something that you have to realize when moving to San Diego. And you do have to realize a lot of times when you're looking into maybe a walkable community, the downside of that walkable community is a lot of them tend to have more people that are that are living on the streets. So it is something that you have to consider and it's something that you have to think about here in San Diego. And it is something that hopefully we're going to find more solutions for moving forward. And there are two other negatives that you definitely should know about before considering moving to San Diego. It's going to be taxes and politics. And these are going to be really more California in general, not specifically just San Diego. And although we get taxed like crazy here in California, there are actually some benefits when it comes to property taxes. Our property tax in general is not as bad as other states. And there are two specific examples that I can give you. We have two different propositions that have passed in the last you know 50 years. One of them passed in 1978 was Prop 13. And that basically makes it so that when there is a change of ownership, there's a reassessment of the property value. So the property, if you look at property tax um, that someone is paying on Redfin, um, it shows what their current property tax is. 
That is going to change once you gain ownership because the home will be reassessed based on the purchase price. And then you're gonna get taxed around 1.1 to 1.2% of your purchase price every single year. Now the benefit of this proposition and the benefit of living in California is because of Prop 13, the property tax assessment cannot increase any more than 2% every single year. So over the last couple of years, when we've seen home appreciation of 20%, the home value has gone up 20%, but the property tax was only able to increase a maximum of 2%. That's a massive difference for one year. You can imagine what a difference that will make when you live in a house for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Your property tax is not gonna get anywhere near the actual value of the home. So it has a huge benefit of living in California for a longer period of time. Now, another proposition that was just passed in 2020 is Prop 19. And that allows, or I guess extends, how they allow people to transfer the property tax basis. So not only just living in a specific house for a long period of time, but let's say you are a senior, let's say you are 55 plus and you want to downsize, you want to get into a smaller house, but you're worried because you have all of your, your property tax on your home, it's going to be way less than buying another million dollar home. Even if you sell your home for a million dollars, you bought it for $200,000 you know, 20 years ago, you don't want that new property tax base to make it so that you can't afford that house. So Prop 19 basically allowed it for you as a senior and for other classes to sell your home, buy a new property and transfer your tax basis over to that new home. So again, as a whole, taxes in California, it's not the most tax friendly state. However, we do have some specific criteria for property taxes that give you a huge benefit to you living in a house for a long period of time. And when we're talking about the politics in California, of course there's policy, a lot of our policy is going to lean very far left, very progressive, very liberal, and that's just kind of how it is throughout the state. And we're, we definitely see it here in San Diego as well. However, I would argue that if you actually meet San Diegans, you talk to San Diegans, if you met 10 San Diegans, I would argue that probably at least seven or eight of them in general are gonna be way farther into the middle than on either side of the political spectrum. And again, I've lived other places here in California. I've lived in Orange County, which is way more Republican and conservative. I've lived in San Francisco, which <laughs> I think everyone knows how San Francisco is. But here in San Diego, I really feel like when you're walking on the streets, when you're meeting people, when you're interacting with people, they're gonna be way more in the middle than a lot of other places throughout the state. And there are two more major positives that you need to know about before living in San Diego. One is gonna be the unique culture of the different neighborhoods. You know, San Diego is a county of 3.35 million people, but it's full of all of these unique, unique neighborhoods. I mean, you have the coastal regions up and down the coast. You have all these walkable communities around Balboa Park. You have more suburban communities like Carlsbad, Rancho Santa Fe, Rancho Bernardo. There's just a huge variety in, of cultures and neighborhoods throughout San Diego County. And so if you're looking to move here, you can find the neighborhood that fits you really, really well. And once you find that neighborhood, once you move into that home, a beautiful thing about living in San Diego, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, whether it's across the US, whether it's in Canada, uh, whether it, you're coming from Europe or Italy or Germany or anything like that, one of the beautiful things about coming to San Diego is that everyone wants to visit. Your friends, your family, they're all going to want to come and visit you. It's not like you have to talk them into visiting San Diego because it's well known as being a fantastic place to live, a fantastic place to visit. I've talked a lot about walkable communities. I suggest checking out this video I just recently did where we toured some local walkable communities throughout San Diego and exactly what you need to consider when considering moving to any of these places. And if you don't know me, my name is Dan Parker. I'm a real estate agent here in San Diego with the Best Life Home Team. And if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, I'm here for you. My contact info is down below. My team and I, we would love to help. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.